Hi everybody, my name is James from Metro Hobbies. Welcome to our YouTube channel. In today's video, we're gonna be having a look at the truck again. Now, I have done a video on this um, in, a, in an earlier video that I've made, sort of going over the truck, the trailer, what it is itself. In today's video, we're gonna dive a little bit deeper and look in particular at the main control unit that's within the truck, the multifunction unit. So there's a couple of versions of this. This particular one I've got here is the American version, which is what is in this truck here, the Grand Hauler. There is also a Euro European version for the Volvos and the Mercedes and all the European style trucks. And then there's also a version for the rock crawlers like the Toyota Tundra um, and the, the Ford as well. So without any further ado, let's open it up and start digging into it. So, I often get a lot of people ask me about the trucks and ask whether the multifunction units are worth getting um, because it is around $500 for the unit. It is quite pricey, but I find what you get within the unit adds so much detail and so much awesomeness to the trucks. And a lot of people don't really 100% know what it is and find it quite confusing. So I'm sort of just gonna go through it all in a bit of detail just to sort of let everyone understand and know what exactly this multifunction unit does. First, we'll have a look at the instructions. Um, so for Tamiya, they're sort of renowned and well known for having really good, easy to understand instructions. And these truck, uh, the truck kit and the multifunction unit is no different to that. So you'll find bits and pieces of the multifunction unit in the truck instructions and obviously the multifunction unit will relate to the truck. So mainly what this uh, manual consists of is sort of how everything connects together and it sort of lets you understand how everything works. So it's definitely worth reading this a few times before you start digging into any of the complicated wiring that's involved um, and sort of connecting everything up. But as I said, they make it a really, really easy, simple system to follow, which I'll go over more a bit later. Um, and then the second half of the instruction manual is all of the assembly that's required for this unit. So there is a little bit of assembly still. This you could say is almost like a miniature kit in itself uh, in terms of building the speaker and things like that. So that's about all for the instructions. I'll leave that for now. Now, what I'll move on to next is what this multifunction unit actually has to offer because that's something that a lot of people tend to get confused about and what this kit actually comes with and what it will do for the truck. Now, the main unit itself, which is this big bulky unit in the middle, acts as an ESC for the truck, first of all. So when you're buying all your electrics, your servos, your transmitter, um, everything for the truck, if you're getting this unit, you will not have to get an electronic speed controller as this unit will act as that. Now, the unit will also have a lot of plugs and ports in it for everything else that this has on offer um, to obviously be able to plug everything in and to be able to utilize all the features that it has on offer. So other than the main unit, this truck also comes with a big bulky speaker that sits right in the cab. Now note, if you are using the speaker, you won't be able to put the driver and passenger and all the dash in because the speaker is gonna take up all of the space. Um, but the speaker is incredibly loud and it does a whole range of sounds. I think it says here it does 24 different sound effects. Um, obviously it does the truck revving up to speeds. It does sounds of gear changes. It does sounds of horns, engine brakes, brake squeaking, um, lots of different like gas compressions. It does a whole different range of sounds and it truly is incredible and you don't really understand how many it does until you start driving it and you sort of realize. Um, so other than the speaker, you've then got your main switchboard, which sits under one of the stairs of the truck. So that's obviously your on and off switch. You've got your hazard switches, different light switches on what you want turned on and off, um, as well as your volume knob for how loud you actually want the truck to be because on full volume, it is ridiculously loud. From there, you've got obviously all of the lights. Now this truck has a lot of lights and that's where this sort of gets most confusing, where to plug them all in. But I'll go over the system and how that's done in a moment because they do rake, make it uh, really easy to understand. So you've got headlights, high beams, the five auxiliary lights on top, indicators, brake lights, reversing lights, rear indicators. There's a whole range of lights that you can use. It's not specifically for this truck. Across any of the Tamiya trucks, they can all have all the lights in them. Um, so it, it just adds a lot of detail. And as you can see, it just makes the truck sort of pop and stand out a little bit. From the lights, you've then got the coupler unit. Now this, um, this kit doesn't come with it in particular, but you can get a servo to make the coupling and uncoupling of the truck automated. 
Um, but what this does come with is a little switch that's located in the coupler so that when the trailer connects, it will make a sound of a big heavy trailer connecting. And same for when you disconnect it. It actually will create sounds out of the speakers to sound like the real thing. Um, then we will move on to this little motor up here. So this is just a tiny little motor that bolts onto the chassis and it has either of these two unbalanced weights that connect onto them. And when these spin, it causes the whole truck to vibrate and shake. It's a really awesome feature and it's something that not many people know that these trucks can have when you have this unit. And you know, when you, when you turn it on and you start driving, it's what you notice straight away. The truck properly vibrates and um, gives a lot of realism and just adds an awesome little detail. So that's all of the, um, the features as such that this truck has to offer. So now we'll actually go through the box and show you um, what they all look like and what they all are. So first we're greeted with all of these plastic pieces. So this is all of your assembly required. For instance, this is the big speaker box that we have. There's your coupler unit. Um, here you've got the switchboard underneath and more parts for the coupler unit. And that's the, the, the switchboard as well, another switchboard. So you've got different options for different trucks as well. So that's all of those out of the way. Then we've got this big heavy box here. Now this is where all the goods and all the guts of the truck are held. So there's lots of double-sided tape, meshing for the speaker as well. Um, in here's the little motor for the unbalanced weight to have the vibration of the truck. And then those little guys are the unbalanced weights themselves. So that's to get all the vibrations going. Um, a lot of hardware and screws, obviously. Some uh, more hardware. We've got some grease and some little tools that it comes with, which is always handy. And then here we have all of the lights, which is a lot. And it can often be quite confusing. One thing to note is to notice that every single lighting in here has different color coordinated cables. Now, this is the system that they use to connect everything into the plugs, which I'll go over in a sec because they have some stickers that make it really handy and really helpful as well. So I'm gonna leave this aside for now and go over that in a moment. Then in here, we've got the switchboard that will go underneath the truck. So on here, if I flip upside down, you can see the switchboard is kept just there. Then we've got some more bits and bobs. This is the speaker unit. So as I said, this sits in the cabin, which you can sort of see through the window. Um, leave that there. And then finally, we have the main unit of the function unit itself. So obviously you've got your Tamiya battery plug, so just a standard 7.2 volt nickel metal battery to run this guy. Then you've got your two motor plugs for the brushed motor that the trucks come with. Um, and then you've got various other plugs. And then you'll see here is all of the ports um, for all of the lights and things like that, which I'll go over now. So going by this, and you've also got this sticker sheet. So you'll see there's a whole range of colors and codes. So for instance, J8, J9, J10, and it goes through a whole range of different codes. So this is the system that you'll be using to know where everything plugs into in here. So each individual code is associated with a color or two colors, which are gonna be the colors of the leads of these lights. So for instance, J9, uh, actually we'll use J14 for instance. So this will be a white and black lead, which you'll look through here and I can see it on the back there, white and black. And then you can see, okay, so that J14 white and black, I know what lead it is, what cable it is, and then it tells me that will be my headlights. So when I'm building the truck, I know that the white and black will be for my headlights, and then I know what code it is to correspond and put into here. So that's the system that they use to make it really simple. Now in the instruction manual, and also written on the back here, has all of the ports and all of the codes associated next to those ports. So that's the way that they use this system. So before you just start putting wires in and plugging it in everywhere, stick all of these to every single thing that you have wires connected to so that you know exactly what port it is going to plug into the multifunction unit. It can be a little bit confusing at, at first, especially when you first dive into it and you greet it with all these crazy cables and speakers and motors and all sorts of thing. And you've you know, just built the truck and are sort of you know, worried about this being too complicated and confusing. If you just take a moment, read through it properly, start at, uh, attacking this with putting all of these stickers on the wires and then just slowly start plugging them all in as you put it into the truck. It really is a really easy system to use and it, and it makes it nice and quick, nice and easy. And this is such an easy system. I can't believe um, how easy it actually was to do. I was expecting it to be a lot more complicated, but to me, it did a great job um, 
to do that and just make it easy to use. And I know a lot of people are a little bit hesitant to build these trucks with this unit just because of how complicated all this is. Um, but seriously, for $500, I know it's a little bit of money. It makes the truck so much better um, and is definitely worth spending that extra money. Alrighty, I went over this quite in depth in the last video once again, so be sure to check that out. But I'll just go over some of the features on the truck itself with it all sort of put in and applied because this truck that I've got in front of me has this exact multifunction unit in it. So I thought I'd just sort of um, showcase a little bit um, and give you, give you a little bit of a show. So at the moment, the truck itself with the switch is switched on so the battery's in and the switch is on and you'll notice that the lights have come on so i can through the bottom here if i can find it adjust all the lights so now they're off and then you've got just the roof lights and then you've got the yeah, the headlights and brake lights are actually on there as well so you can have the truck quiet turned off with all of the lights on which is also a sort of neat little feature now to actually get the engine started up, you have to turn the transmitter on. So if I now flick the transmitter on, and also when I do this, make sure to note how much the truck vibrates because start up and when it shuts down in particular is when it vibrates the most. And then as you sort of rev it up as well. So I'll turn it on now. It does a little beep for start up and then. So you can notice, especially with the stacks, it's vibrating quite a lot. Now note, this may sound pretty loud. This is only about a quarter volume. So the truck can get ridiculously loud. Um, and I've driven it outside on the street and I've been going up and down the street. From the other end of the street, you can still hear it perfectly fine. It almost sounds as loud as the real thing. So obviously that's the truck on. Um, you can hear like bits of air escaping. Um, obviously you can just hear it sort of revving up at the moment. So if I lift it up and start um, revving it up, you can hear that the noise of the truck will go up with the revs of the motor. And that's the same with first, second or third gear as well. So if I go into third, it'll obviously go quite quick. And then there's also the sound of the brake screeching, which I'll show now. Uh, there's also an engine brake feature. Um, so that's all like the sounds that respond to the motor itself. Then there's obviously a horn. So there's a long horn that will go as long as I hold it for. And then there's also a short little blip, which are those little guys. So that's pretty much all of the sounds. Oh, it also does reversing. So you can hear the reversing beeps. All the little little sort of details like that that just make this truck something awesome. Um, so that's all the vibrations, the horn, the sounds. So if I turn it off, it'll shut down. And now it is nice and quiet again. So that pretty much wraps up this video for the multifunction unit. If you enjoyed the video, please feel free to give this video a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to the channel to see more in the future. But uh, that's about it for me. So I'll see you in the next one.